Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. This is the Pittsburgh Men's Baseball League YouTube channel live broadcast here at Convenient Care Park at Fusion Field. For today, the first game we have live is going to be the Aqua Sox versus the Flying Chonklas. Uh, that game time is going to start at 3.45. Um, we'll be back then to get you started with the first pitch of the game here in about 11 minutes. Uh, so we'll see you soon. How can you hear me now?
All right, welcome to the PNBL Pensacola Men's Baseball League here on a fine Sunday, April the 14th, 2024, where we have the Aqua Sox versus the Flying Chonclas. Right now, you're looking at the Flying Chonclas out on the field there in their bright yellow jerseys. And we'll have the Aqua Sox in their pretty in pink jerseys over on the uh, visiting team there. And uh, just to go over the defense here, what I can see, we have Gabe Beat catching. And on the mound, looks like we have, well, I can't tell who that McElroy. is. McElroy. McElroy. First base is playing Sean Roy. Second base, we got Steve Stewart. Shortstop, Paul Guy. And third base, Dylan Van Putten. Out in left field, we got Tony Williams. In right field, we have the other row. Tom Major in center. And it looks like leading off for the Aqua Sox is going to be number two, A.J. McMillan. A.J. McMillan's a good leadoff hitter for the Aqua Sox. Um, let's see what he does here with the opening pick coming here. You need a minute from that roll warrior. The wind up and the pitch. There's a shot down the left field line, and it's fair. It's going to get down into the corner. McMillan's running first, heading to second. And he's going to – oh, no, he holds up at second base there. So he's in there with a stand-up double. Now coming up to bat 51, Chris Powell. Now Powell was also in the minor league uh, system. He played, uh, I think, a little time with the Kansas City Royals. He steps up to the plate with the knob on the bottom of the bat there. McElroy comes to the stretch, gets set. Here's the pitch. Ball inside. Count one and oh. Millen takes his lead from second. The pitch. Ball low and outside. McRoy gets to stretch because Sonny wants comes set. McMillan takes his lead. Here's the pitch. All outside. Three and oh. And the pitch, strike right down the middle. Count is 3-1 on Chris Powell. Can McMillan lead off this inning with a stand-up double down the left field corner? McElroy gets stretched. Another strike right down the middle. Looks like a fastball from here. Count is 3-2, full count on Chris Powell. Chris Powell gets set. McElroy gets signed. He needs and the pitch. And it's a pop up to the infield. Second base. Steve Stewart's underneath it. And makes the catch. One down here in the top of the first. Now stepping up is number three, A.J. Blashinsky. Sorry, 33. Got rugged signs. Come set. McMillan takes his lead. Here's the pitch. There's a ground ball slowly hit down to the first baseman. And he'll tag first, and A.J. Blashinsky's out. At first, McMillan moves up to third base on the softly hit ground ball to the right side. Now stepping up, number 35, Davis, 
for the Flying Chunklins. He'll face McElroy here in the stretch with A.J. McMillan at third. McElroy shakes off the sign. Time is called by the catcher. And they're automatically going to walk Davis here. So Davis gets the intentional walk. And he'll advance to first base. Coming up next is number 17, Greg Steed. And Gabe Beath go out and talk to his pitcher, McElroy. Let's see what they're going to do here. It's a beautiful day here in Pensacola, Florida. 74 degrees. Mostly cloudy. No rain in sight, though. Here's the pitch to the great steed. Squares around the butt. Ball low and outside. 1-0 and the count. Runners on the corners here for Greg Steed. Two outs in the top of the first. Greg Steed steps into the box. McElroy comes set. Tries to pick off the runner. They got a pick off. He's in the rundown. They try to get. Oh, so they try to pick off Gabe Davis. They had him. Uh, but Millen attempted to come home. And they threw it home and. McMillan gets back to third safely, so Davis makes it to second. But they had him dead to rights, but they rather not concede the run there. Carroll comes set to pitch to Steve. Strike, curveball, outside corner. Count is 1-1. One one. McElroy comes set. The pitch. There's a ground ball to the right side to the first baseman. He bobbles it, but he collects it and touches first, and that's three down. So the Aqua Sox leave two on. And that ends the top of the first. So we'll come back when we get to the bottom of the first. Right here in the bottom of the first. Again, the first inning there, the Aqua Sox left two on. Nobody scored. On the mound for the Aqua Sox is A.J. Bushinski. And he's going to face off McElroy here in the top of the first. Number eight. Behind the plate, we have Love Lady. On first, we have Chris Powell. Second base, Rob Seppi. 
shortstop AJ McMillan and third base Dave Proshak. And the first pitch by AJ Bosinski is the fastball inside. It's called strike one. AJ gets a sign. Here's the pitch to McElroy. There's a foul ball back into the screen. Count is 0 2. And yeah, right field, we have Davis. And left field, we have Ward. And there is a high fastball for strike three. McElroy strikes out. One down here in the bottom of the first. Next for the Flying Chonclas is going to be number two, Paul Guy. AJ Boshinsky looking for the sign. Gets it. Here's the pitch. And there's a shot down in between the shortstop and third base, and that's a single for Paul Guy out in the left field. He swings on the first pitch, gets a hold of it, hits it sharply towards the third baseman, in between the third baseman and shortstop, and gets a single. Next up to the plate, we have Gabe Veith. So one down, one runner on face on first. Gabe Veith at the plate. AJ Wyshynski gets a sign that he likes, comes set. Here's the pitch. Popped off, off to the right side, out of play. Foul ball. Count is 0 1. AJ Bushinski gets a new ball. V steps in. AJ looks in for the sign. Gets a sign that he likes. Comes set. Checks on the runner at first. Here's the pitch. Ball high. Count is one and one. AJ looking into Love Lady for a sign. Checks on the runner at first. Checks on Paul Guy again. Comes set. Here's the pitch. Oh, check swing foul off to the right hand side for Gabe B. Count is one and two. In the box. Getting ready. AJ gets a sign that he needs. Come set. Checks on the runner at first. Paul Guy. Checks on him again. Here's the pitch. Swung on. Strike three. Struck him out. Got two outs here in the bottom of the first. With the runner on first for the Flying Chonklas. Score is still 0-0. Zero, zero. Now coming up to bat, number 15, Dylan Van Putten. AJ looks in for the sign. Gets a sign that he likes. Comes set. Checks on Paul Guy. Here's the pitch. Strike on the inside corner. Called by George behind the plate. And out in the field, we have Richie Brantley. Dylan gets set. Calls time. Dylan steps back in the box. Gets set. Paul Guy at first takes the lead. AJ checks on him. Here's the pitch. Strike inside. Swing and strike. Can you use that wind from the bat? It's kind of a little warm here today. Dylan comes set. AJ looks in for the sign. Gets the sign that he likes. Checks on first. Checks on Paul Guy. Here's the pitch. Paul Guy's running. Pitch outside, look like a pitch out, and Paul Guy is out at second on the steal. So that's three outs. That's the end of the first. Score is 0 0 Aqua Sox versus the Flying Chonklas. We'll see you back here at the top of the second.
right, here we go with the top of the second. Looks like uh, Flying Chunk has changed catchers. We now got Antonio Rice behind the plate. Looks like uh, Gabe Beats went to short. So McElroy looks in for the sign from Antonio Rice. It's signed at once. The windup, the pitch. And curveball hits straight up. Catcher has a play on it. And he makes a catch, and the batter's out. One down here at the top of the second. Red Love Lady pops out to the catcher. You think with all those muscles, you'd be able to hit it out of the infield, but apparently McElroy got him with the curveball there. Now stepping up to the plate, Dave Proshak. Steps into the box. McElroy looking for the sign from Antonio Rice. Gets the sign in the windup. Here's the pitch. Outside, low, ball one. McElroy in the windup. Here's the pitch. Ball inside, count one and one. One and one, one out two here in the top of the second. Two and oh, two and oh, sorry. Wind up in the pitch. Here's two and one now. Swing and strike. Ball was inside. Proshak thought he could get around on it. Swung and missed. Galroy gets signed from the catcher in the windup. Here's the pitch. Oh, no, foul ball. Again, an inside pitch to Dave Proshak. Count is two and two. Proshak kicks dirt around a little bit. Comes set. Antonio Rice giving McElroy the sign. McElroy shakes off one. Gets the one he likes. Wind up. Here's the pitch. Curveball outside. Low and outside. Missed the corner. Count is now full. Full count. One out. Top of the second here. Score still 0-0 between the Flying Chunklas and the Aqua Sox. Kelroy gets a sign that he likes. The pitch. Fastball inside. Fouled off back to the screen. Kelroy looks in from the side. For Antonio Rice gets the sign he likes. Wind up. Pitch. There's a shot to left field. Tony Williams looks like he's running under it. It makes the grab. Two down here in the top of the second. Next up for the Aqua Sox, it's Brian Ward, number 11. Calls for time, digs into the box, gets set. McElroy looks in for the sign from Rice. Goes into the windup. Here's the pitch. Strike one, fastball. Hits the outside corner. Count is 0 1. McElroy looks in for the sign. Hits the sign from Rice. Goes into the windup. The pitch. Fastball down the middle. Fouled off back to the screen. Count is 0 2. Elroy looks in for a sign from Rice. Shakes off once. It comes to the windup. Here's the pitch. Curveball. Right down the middle drop. Third strike. War tries to run first, and he gets thrown out. That's three down here in the top of the second. Score still 0-0. We'll see you back in the bottom of the second.
All right, we're back with the bottom of the second. Dylan Van Putten hits a line drive to left field, base hit single. Antonio Rice is in there. That pitch from AJ Pasinski fouled off back here to the screen. Count is two balls and two strikes. Tony Rice steps in. AJ looks in for the sign, gets the sign that he wants. Checks on the runner first. Here's the pitch. Curveball strikes out Antonio Rice. Now coming up for the flying chunklas is number 12, Tom Majors. Steps in. Talk about somebody that looks good. He's got the shoes that match the uniform. AJ looks in for the pitch. Comes set. Checks on the runner first. Here's the pitch. Fouled off to the screen. Count is on one. One out. Here in the bottom of the second. Scoreless 0-0. Zero, zero. AJ gets the ball. Goes back to the mound. Into the stretch. Looks in for the sign. It's the one he likes. Comes set. Checks on the runner first. Here's the pitch to Tom Majors. Curveball strike. Count is 0-2. One out. AJ comes set. Dylan's running. Pitch. Right down the middle, fought off by Tom Major to the right hand side. <clears throat> Looks like ball one. <clears throat> Dylan will head back to first base on the foul ball. AJ gets the ball, steps on the rubber, looks in for the sign from Love Lady. It's sign that he likes. Come sit. Checks on the runner. He's going to throw over to first. Bam Putt makes it back safely. AJ Bashinsky gets sign. Come sit. Checks on the runner again. Here's the pitch. And it's hit down to the first base side. They're going to try to turn two. Oh, throw to second base. And hits Dylan Van Putten in the butt. And he'll be safe at second. And Tom Major makes it to first. On the attempt for the fielder's choice. Chris Powell looks a little upset. Got his hands on his hip. Frustrated with himself over there. Next up for the Flying Chonklas, number 14, Tony Williams. He'll take the normal two practice swings. Makes the sign of the cross as he steps into the box and gets set for the pitch from A.J. Boshinsky. A.J. Boshinsky gets the sign, comes set. Checks on the runner second. Here's the pitch to Tony Williams. And ball one, high and outside. One down. Here. Here in the bottom of the second, AJ Boshinsky gets the sign that he wants. Comes set. Checks on the runner in a second. Checks on the runner in a second again. Here's the pitch. Tony swings. Strike one. Missed that one. Looked like he swung underneath it. Looks like he was definitely trying to show him where he lived with that one. A.J. Boshinsky comes set, gets the sign, checks on the runner in a second. Here's the pitch. Fouled off back to the screen here. Count is one and two. One out here in the bottom of the second. Still score, that's 0 0. Flying chunk, let's have runners on first and second. One out. A.J. looks in for the sign. He steps over to the left side of the mound. Comes set. Here's the pitch. Ball high. Count is 2 2.
So from us, AJ Bushinsky on the left side of the mound. Come set. Check from the runner second. Check on the runner second again. Here's the pitch. Curveball high. Count is three and two. One down. AJ looks in for the sign. Shakes off the first one. He likes the second one he gets. Comes set. Checks on the runner at second. Here's the pitch. Swung on strike three. Batter's out. Two outs here in the bottom of the second. I'm batting for the flying chunk of Sean Rowe, number seven. Runners on first and second with two outs. AJ looks in, gets signed. Come set. The pitch. Swung on, check swing, strike one. Quite a fastball up and outside. AJ gets a sign from Rice. Come set, checks on the runner in a second. Here's the pitch. Curveball gets the outside corner, strike two. Count is 0 2 here on Sean Rowe. AJ Bushinsky comes set. Here's the pitch. Strike three, struck him out. That's the end of the second inning. The Flying Chunkles leave two on base. Still scoreless here. Between the Aqua Sox and the Flying Chunkles, 0-0. Zero, zero. All right, <laughs> stepping up to the plate for the Aqua Sox, number 10, Rob Seppi. McElroy goes into the windup. Here's the pitch. Strike one, fastball right down the middle, it looked like. Damn. Giving away free jello shots with no alcohol. <laughs> <laughs> windup in the pitch. There's a curveball popped up to the infield on the left side. Shortstop calls off third baseman, makes a catch, and that's one down. Here in the top of the third. And Rob Seppi, I don't know when we'll have it, but I think I heard something about hair ties. Free hair ties for the first 10 fans. Come out to the field on. We ain't got a date yet, but we'll figure it out. <laughs> Here's the pitch to you. Spring till to Dell Spring files it off to the left side. Now, if you ain't never heard of Dell Spring, he always has something to say. Doesn't matter what it is, if it's daytime, we don't have a batter's eye, can't see the ball. If it's nighttime, we don't have a batter's eye, can't see the ball. Gabriel comes into the pitch, curveball inside corner, strike two. <laughs> 
goes He's already complaining. <laughs> he steps back into the box. His back foot on the line of the batter's box. Here's the pitch from McElroy. Fastball right down the middle, rung him up. Two down. And we'll have on Sunday, Dale Spring complaining. <laughs> <laughs> Next game, the flying chocolate house. They'll stand out at first base and complain. <laughs> McElroy comes into the windup. Here's the pitch. Strike one. <laughs> On Sherman. 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 Sherman waits for the pitch from McElroy. Here's the pitch. Strike two. Count is on two here. In the top of the third with two outs. McElroy comes set. Here's the pitch. Curveball fouled off to the left side. Foul. Members, ladies and gentlemen, in the, the fans, if you're listening to us, your kid's going to chase down a foul ball. They'll get a free popsicle at the concession stand here at Convenient Care Park. We'll sugar them up so you, you can take them home. <laughs> and let them run around. Sherman steps back in the box. McElroy looks in for the sign from Antonio Rice. Gets the sign. Here's the windup. The pitch. Here's a foul ball. Hit up. And it's going to land. Foul here back right in front of us here. Count is still 0-2 with two outs here in the top of the third. McElroy goes into the windup to pitch. Ball high inside. Count is 1-2, two, two outs. Carroy gets signed, wind up the pitch on the way. Curveball. Ooh, look good from here. Called the ball. Count is now two and two. Carroy looks in, gets signed from Rice. Here's the wind up the pitch. Ball low in the dirt. So Sherman works his way to a full count here. Three, two, no, but uh, two outs, top of the third. We'll see if Sherman can roll over the lineup to get to that leadoff hitter, AJ McMillan, who waits on deck. Calroy goes into the windup. Here's the pitch, curveball, strike three, batters out. That is the top of the third where we still have the scoreless game. Against the flying chalk was in the Aqua Sox 0-0. We'll see you at the bottom of the third. All right, as we watch them warm up here in between the top of the third and uh, heading into the bottom of the third, uh, let's give our sponsors some shout outs. So, we got Stadium Sports Apparel. If you need any sports apparel, such as these fine uniforms you see out here today, get a hold of Stadium Sports Apparel. Where that will definitely hook you up. We also got quality roofing. So, if you need your roof replaced, quality roofing is a good place to start. Get you a quote, they'll come out and hook you up with a new roof. 
And we'll go ahead and get into the bottom of the third here, starting off with Steve Stewart for the Flying Chocolates. Now, I don't know if you know about Steve Stewart, but he likes the high heat. So if you throw it up there, he's going to take a hack. Steve Stewart steps into the box. A.J. Bushinski gets the sign. Here's the pitch. Filed off to the right side. Looks like a fastball inside. Steve Stewart steps back in. Bushinski gets a new ball. Gets the sign. Goes in the windup. Here's the pitch. Curveball. Hit to the right side. Seppi's under it. Second baseman makes the catch. One down here in the bottom of the third. <laughs> now batting for the Flying Chunkos, number three, Jared Rowe. One of the Rowe brothers that play on the Flying Chunkos. Maybe one of these nights the Flying Chunkos will give away uh, Step Brothers photos signed by Sean and Jared Rowe. First pitch, fastball low, ball one. Next pitch, another ball, low, inside, ball two. AJ gets fine from the catcher, wind up, here's the pitch. Fastball, hit to the left side, AJ grabs it, makes an attempted throw, throws offline, but Jared Rowe is going to make it to first. So, Jared Rowe makes it the first. Great, great grab by A.J. McMillan. Just not enough on the throw. Chad Brown. Now batting for the flying chunk was Chad Brown. Runner takes the lead off first. A.J. Bushinski is signed, comes set. Checks the runner on first. Here's the pitch. Ball low and outside. Town is 1 0. AJ Bushinski looks in for the sign. Gets the sign. Comes set. Jared Rose real close to first. Here's the pitch. Strike called on the outside corner by George. Town is 1 1. Jared Rose takes a couple step lead off first. AJ Bushinski checks on him. Comes set. Here's the pitch. There's a foul ball back behind us. Down is one and two. One and two, one out, runner on first. Whoa, whoa, whoa. AJ Boschinski looks in for the sign, gets the sign. Pitch Chad Brown, comes set. Here's the pitch. Strike three. Call on the outside corner, and Chad Brown goes down. Two outs. Two out for the flying chocolate. Runner on first, Jared Brown. Next up, McElroy for the flying chocolate, number eight. AJ Bushinski is in the stretch. Looks in for the sign. It's the sign. Comes set. Checks on the runner at first. Goes to pick off. So safe, Jared Brown. I don't know what AJ was thinking. He only has like a two step lead. Doesn't look like he's not going anywhere. Oh, he takes a bigger lead this time. I may be fooled. AJ comes set. Here's the pitch. Popped straight up. It's high. Pitcher has the chance to catch it, makes a grab. That's three down. So here in the bottom of the third, Flying Chocolates versus the Aqua Sox 0 0. So some of our other sponsors that we have out here, Farm Bureau of Pensacola, Phillips Power. And if you were wondering, we do have a cassette stand and it's open. They're selling hot dogs, hamburgers, nachos, chips, drinks. Come get it while it's hot. But we'll be back with the top of the fourth.
ball gets away from Antonio Rice. And McMillan will take third after he sold second. Right now, the count to Chris Powell is 3 0. He's got 2 1. 2 1. 3 0. Carol comes set. Here's the pitch. Foul back. Count is 2 and 2. He must have swung it more than I did. Called him. Yeah. McElroy steps in, looks for a sign, comes set. AJ Chase lead off third. Here's the pitch to Chris Powell. Outside low ball. Count three and two. Count three and two to McElroy. Or to Powell. Powell. Steps in the box. McElroy comes set. Here's the pitch. There's a shot to right field. It's going to get down. We're finally going to unleash the score. It's now 1-0 Aqua Sox on that single hit to right field by Christopher Powell. Powell's going to get a speed up here. Looks like number 79, Sherman. Now stepping in is number 33, A.J. Boshinsky. With his left back glove loose. Gets up there, gets set. McElroy checks on Sherman. Here's the pitch. Ball low and outside. She sets in. McElroy waits for the sign. Gets the sign. Comes set. Tries to pick off Sherman at first. Throws it away. Sherman's going to advance to second here on the error. Yeah, Sherman's now at second. Runner on second. No outs. A.J. Wyszynski steps in the box. Comes set. Both bag gloves loose. Checks on another second. Here's the pitch from McElroy. Outside ball. Runner takes the lead off second. Pitcher comes set. Here's the pitch. Curveball swing and a miss. Foul tip into the glove of the catcher. AJ Bushinski comes set. Here's the pitch. Swing. Foul ball off to the left side. Out of play. Count is two and two. McElroy gets a new ball. AJ Bushinski checking the count with the umpire. Make sure he's got two and two. He steps in. McElroy waiting for the sign from Antonio Rice. Gets the sign, comes set. Ground ball hit to the left side to the shortstop. No play at third. Oh. They almost got it behind him. Almost got him at third. So the runner does make it to first. Running on the corners here in the top. Top of the four. Runners on the corners. Nobody down. Sherman on third. Oh, they try to pick off Bushinsky and they get him. He's picked off at first base. There's one down. So one down, runner on third. Up at bat is Davis. Pitch from McElroy. Third ball, outside ball. Oh, 
McElroy in the windup. Here's the pitch. Strike down the middle. It gets behind Rice. And the runner from third will score on the pass ball. So now the score is 2 0 Aqua Sox here in the top of the fourth. So McElroy will definitely go back to the windup here. Good sign from Rice. Here's the pitch. Ball outside. Davis steps back in. McElroy gets the sign. Wind up. Here's the pitch. Swung on, hit the right field. Might have burned him. Oh, he got burned. Ball reaches the fence. Davis rounds first, headed to second. And he's going to be in there with a stand-up double. Davis makes a sign like he needs some oxygen there. It's only 180 feet. You'll be all right there, buddy. Now stepping in is Greg Steed, number 17 for the Aqua Sox. McElroy back into the stretch. Here's the pitch. Ball inside. Outfield playing them straight up. Infield playing them to go to the right. Run on second takes his lead. McElroy comes set. Here's oh no. Try to turn, make a pick off. No throw. Runner makes it back to second. <coughs> McElroy gets the sign. Comes set. Here's the pitch to Greg Steed. Fouled off to the right side. That's the only place he gets the baseball. Ball comes back in. Give it to the first base coach. McElroy has a new ball. Davis takes the lead off second. McElroy looks in for the sign. Gets the sign. Comes set. Here's the pitch to Greg Steed. Runner's running. And he steals third. Davis steals third on the pitch. Which was a ball. No, where he is. He's going to hit it to the right side, no, no matter what. Greg Steed is a slap hitter. Michael Roy back into the windup. Here's the pitch. Fouled off to the right side again. Imagine that. <laughs> Count is now two and two. McElroy gets signed. Greg Steed steps back in the box. Davis on third. Here's the pitch. And curveball inside. Ball three, three and two. Three and two, two outs. Runner on third. Oh, one out. Sorry. McElroy in the windup. Here's the pitch. Ball outside. Four balls. Take your base. Runners on the corners here in the top of the fourth. One out. Aquaswax lead two to zero. The lady steps in. Who will pop out to the catcher's last at bat? Michael Warrior up from the stretch gets set. Tries to pick off Steve. Steve gets back in time. McElroy checking on lead of Steve. Looks like a one-step lead. Come set. Here's the pitch to Love Lady. There's a line drive into left field. That'll bring home one. Greg Steve will make it to second. And they'll hold the runner there. So runners on first and second. One out. Another run scores. Ox Fox lead the flying chocolates three to zero. Now come to the plate. Number 13, Dave Proshak. Dave 
They approach Dak, steps into the box, runners on first, second, take their lead. McElroy looks in for the sign, comes set. Here's the pitch. Curveball, ball inside. And runners take their lead. Here's the pitch from McElroy. Fastball, strike one. Count is one and one. One and one, runner on first and second. No one's holding on the runners. McElroy shakes off the first line. Comes set. Here's the pitch. Fastball again, strike two. Fouled off into the catcher's mitt. So the score is 3 0 Aqua Sox. Run around first and second. McElroy comes set. Here's the pitch. Foul ball off the helmet of Antonio Rice. Hopefully, it's okay. Rattling his brain box there. He shakes it off. McElroy gets a new ball. Antonio looks to be okay. One down. Runs on first and second. Looking for the double play here. The flying chonclas are. McElroy comes set. The pitch. There's a ball pulled down the third base side. They'll take the easy out at third. Two down. Runners on first and second. Now coming to the plate, number 11, Brian Ward. For the Aqua Sox. And they'll put Greg Steed back at second for the speed up for the pit uh, for the catcher. Love lady. More like to slow down. Better <laughs> <laughs> slow down, man. Ford steps in, McElroy gets the sign, comes set. Here's the pitch. Curveball low and outside. Ball. McElroy shakes off the first time. Come set. Pitch to Ward. Fastball inside. Pop up. Shortstop screams. He's got the ball. And he makes the catch. That's three down. So the Aqua Sox lead two stranded. But they do score three in this inning. The score is now three to zero. Aqua Sox over to Flying Chonclas heading to the bottom of the fourth.
here in the bottom of the fourth. AJ Bluchinski is going to face Paul Guy, number two, for the flying chocolate. So AJ looks in for the sign. In the windup, here's the pitch. Strike inside. Called on Paul Guy. Score is 3 nothing. Aqua Sox here in the bottom of the fourth. Wyshynski gets the side. Here's the pitch. There's a ground ball to the third base side. Dave Prochak makes an attempt. AJ, AJ grabs it and throws him out. Paul Guy is thrown out at first base here on a close play. Bang, bang. Now batting for the flying chunk is number 18, Gabe Veith. Got his Oakland A's batting helmet, I think. Doesn't match the flying chocolate's uniform. Somebody better tell his wife so she can fix him. He was fined $50 for one. <laughs> Here's the first pitch <laughs> fouled off to the left side. Another 25 because it had the A on it. <laughs> you know, they always talk about us not matching. He's definitely not matching today. <laughs> Uh, after that foul ball, Gay Vice steps in. Boshinsky looks in for the sign. Lost the bet to a teammate. Out of the windup. Here's the pitch. There's a shot to right field, and it's going to get down. And Gay Vice is going to wind up on first with a base hit. Now batting for the flying chunk. That's number 15, Dylan Van Putten. He did play his college ball here at UWF in Pittsburgh, Florida. Okay, Bite takes his lead at first. AJ gets the sign. Come set. Here's the pitch. Fastball, strike one. Count is 0 1. One out here in the bottom of the fourth with the runner on first. So, Bite takes his one step lead. AJ comes set. Here's the pitch. Curveball outside ball. Count one and one. Okay, he takes his lead. Shinsky checks on him. Here's the pitch. Fastball strike two. Count one and two. On oh, Dylan Van Putt. He stretches his back out. Looks in for the side. Shakes off the first one. Still looking. Call time. Time call by the batter, Dylan Van Putter. Peter was taking too long. Game Bushinski looks in for the sign. Gets the one he likes. Checks on the runner first. Here's the pitch to Van Putten. Curveball breaks his bat. Hit to second. Out at second. Dylan Van Putten makes it to first. All in the fielder's choice. Two down. Well, if the Flying Chocos have a game next week, we might have a bank giveaway or a firewood giveaway. <laughs> yes. That'll be added to the free bat night. <laughs> <laughs> now stepping in for the Flying Chocos, Antonio Rice. Dylan Van Putten takes his lead, but she checks on him. Here's the pitch. Oh, almost hit him. Ball inside. We may end up with 10 broken bats on that night. So get yours quick. And Toby <laughs> Rice steps in. Checks on the runner, Boshinsky. Checks on Van Putten at first. Checks on him again. Here's the pitch. Ball outside. So Bushinski steps on the right side of the mound there. Just finally likes to come set. Checks on the runner. 
Here's the pitch. Swung on and missed. Strike two. Got two ones. Stay corrected. Two one. Thanks, Keith. <laughs> And they try to pick off Van Button at first and makes it back in time. Antonio Rice steps it back in. Boshinski gets the sign that he likes. Come set. Here's the pitch. Struck him out outside. Oh, no, sorry. Two and two. Strike two on the outside corner. Dylan Van Putten takes the lead from first. AJ moves to the other side of the mound. Gets the sign that he likes. Come set. Here's the pitch. The inside fastball strike. Or fouled off. Sorry. Back to the screen. Count still 2 2 here in the bottom of the fourth. Two outs. Runner on first. Flying Chunk was still looking for their first run. There's the pitch. Runner goes. Curveball high. Dylan Van Punt steals second base. Count is 3 2. AJ looks in for a sign. Gets the sign that he likes. Comes to it. Dylan takes his lead. Here's the pitch to Rice. Curveball. Looks like he hung that one. Fouled off to the left side, though. And there's some kids going to run and get it. They must really want a popsicle. It's kind of hot out of here. I want a popsicle, too. They want that sugar buzz. All right. Antonio Rice steps in. Bushinski gets a new ball. Looks in for the sign. Comes set. Van Putten takes his lead. Bouncing around. AJ kind of creeps behind him. Gets back. Pitch. Struck him out. It's three down. So flying chunk goes the one on. And then to the top of the fifth. Aqua Sox lead the flying chunk was 3 0.
bottom right. We're here in the top of the fifth. Base is loaded for the Aqua Sox. Two down. And the first pitch to A.J. Bolshinsky's fouled off. Strike one. Max Lowry from the windup. Here's the pitch to Bolshinsky. High heat, strike two, foul into the country mid. Count only two, bases loaded. Still three nothing. And Corey gets the side. Here's the pitch. Ball low and outside. Count one and two. Base loaded, two outs for the Sox. Here in the top of the fifth. Michael and gets a sign from Rice. Here's the pitch. Runners take the lead. Curveball low in the dirt. Here comes the runner. And he's out. He's tagged out by Antonio Rice. So that's three outs. Aqua, Aqua Sox strand two. Score still 3 0 here. Headed into the bottom of the fifth. Here we go, heading into the bottom of the fifth, leading off for the Flying Chonklas is Tom Mayer. Boshinsky from the windup gets the sign. Here's the pitch. Tom Major squares around for the bump, pop up. Love Lady has a chance, makes the grab. One down here in the bottom of the fifth. What a great grab. Next up for the flying chunk was number 14. Tony Williams takes a couple practice swings. We know what's coming next. He's going to get the sign of the cross as he steps in the box. And there it is. Roshinsky gets the sign from the catcher. Here's the windup in the pitch. Tony Williams swings to strike one. Fast ball. Tony steps back in. Voshinski waiting for a sign. Get the sign. There's the high lead kick. Here's the pitch. There's a shot to right left field. It looks like he burned him. Oh, almost gets over the wall by maybe missed it by five feet. What a stroke by Tony Williams who winds up on second in the stand up double. 
Oh, he hit that one about 323, I would say, as it hit off the fence. Next up for the flying chunk was number seven, Sean Rowe. The other part of the Rowe brothers. And he looks up in the box, gets set. Here's the pitch. Ball outside. I didn't think the last uh, last pitch, Tony Williams, I didn't think he could get a, hell, a hold of it that much, but he, he did. It, it, Caught some air somewhere. Here's the pitch. Swing. Strike one. One and one on Sean Rowe with one out here in the bottom of the fifth with Tony Williams on second with stand up double. <clears throat> AJ Poison, he looks in for the sign from Love Lady. Sean Rowe gets set. Tony takes the lead. Second short, messing around with Tony Williams. Here's the pitch. Curveball outside. Ball two. Shinsky gets set. Tony Williams takes his lead. Pitch. Pop towards second base. Looks like it got over second base. Man, it's going to fall. And Tony's going to make it to third. He's going to hold up there. So the flying chocolates have runners at first and third. One out. Looking to put some runs on the board here in the bottom of the fifth, where they're uh, losing three to zero to the Alka Sox. Next up for the Flying Chocolates, number 24, Steve Stewart. Steps in. Boshinsky from the stretch, looks in for the side. Sean Rowe takes the lead at first. Williams takes the lead from third. AJ Boshinsky comes set. And they're going to try to throw the first, see if they can get Sean Rowe, and he makes it back safely. Sean Rowe again takes his lead from first, Williams from third. AJ gets his sign, comes set. Here's the pitch. Ball inside. Steve Stewart digs in his back foot, comes set. AJ Boshinsky gets the sign. He comes set from the stretch. Sean Rowe takes a bigger lead this time, and there's a foul ball back to the screen. Count is one to one on Steve Stewart. One out, runners on the corners. Steve Stewart steps in the box, comes set. Runners take their lead on first and third. She comes set. And he's going to make another throw to first. And Sean Rowe makes it back time, see? Calls the umpire Richie Brown. So we'll do it again here. Runners on first and third, take their lead. She comes set. Here's the pitch. Strike right down the middle, and Steve Stewart don't like it, but that's where it was. You can hate it if you want to. He's a member of the uh, Dale Spring <laughs> Complaint Club. <laughs> AJ Wyshynski steps off to the left, uh, left side of the mound. Most likely going to be come set. Here's the pitch. Ball high and outside. Count is two and two. Pushes he moves to the other side of the mound. Comes set. Runners take their lead. Here's the pitch to Stewart. Curveball outside. Runner takes off. And they're just going to go. Runners on second, third, one out. Full count to Steve Stewart. 
Shansky looks in for the sign from the lady. Gets the sign. Come set. Here's the pitch. Curveball outside, ball four. Bases loaded for the Flying Chocolates here in the bottom of the fifth. One out. Looking to put some runs on the board. Here comes out the other row, brother. Jared row, number three for the Flying Chocolates. Hopefully he can do some damage here. Shinsuke will most likely go back into the windup. Goes to the windup. Here's the pitch. The ball low. Pushinski shakes off the first one. Shakes off the second one. Likes the third one. Here it comes. Fastball right down the middle. Looks like some broken wood. They're going to get the play at the plate. And get the play at first, so that's a double play. One, uh, one, two, three, double play. So the flying chocolates leave two on the bases. No run score that inning, so the Aqua Sox still leave three runs to nothing. So if you were watching there, the umpires got together and the runner at first, uh, the out call was overturned by the home plate umpire and he was safe, safe at first. So we still got bases loaded here. Bottom of the fifth, two outs for the Flying Chocolates. And the Aqua Sox are gonna have to take the field. Here comes Greg Steed, talk with the home plate umpire. So they're talking about it. Greg Steve going out to talk to Richie Brantley. They're talking about, but Greg Steve Perry didn't like the call. So base is loaded, two outs. Number 10 is going to bat here. Chad Brown. No, he was out of the play. Yeah. Two down, base loaded. Let's get signed. Here's the pitch. Swung on, strike one. Shinsky gets the side. Here's the pitch. Ball outside. Count is one and one. One and one. Two outs here in the bottom of the fifth where the Aqua Sox lead. The Flying John Clubs three to zero. Shinsky gets the sign. Shakes off the first one. Takes a look at third. Here's the pitch. Fouled off to the left side. And some lucky fans all excited about the popsicle. <laughs> Count is one and two. Two outs here in the bottom of the fifth. Shinsky gets the sign. Wind up the pitch. 
Strike three batters out. So the Flying Chocos lead three on base here in the bottom of the fifth. And the score is three to zero. And we'll head to the top of the sixth. Didn't let it go. All right, we're here in the top of the six. Looks like we got a new pitcher on the mound there, Gabe White. Did we? That's Gabe, eh? yeah. So AJ Basinski steps back in. Gabe White on the mound. Looking for a sign. Shakes off one. Shakes off two. Likes the third one. Here's the pitch. Oh, change up for a strike. Gabe White looks in. AJ Boshinsky sits back in the box. Come set. Here's the pitch. Curveball outside. They're playing Boshinsky to pull in the outfield. The infield looks like they're straight up. Black gets signed. Come set. Here's the pitch. Outside ball. Okay, he looks in for the sign. Come set. AJ steps in. Here's the pitch. Foul ball. Look out there. Almost Everybody. takes out his own player in the dugout. Pull that one hard. Look like my golf swing. <laughs> <laughs> And Gabe White looks in for the sign. Shakes off one. Likes the second one. Goes to the windup this time. Here's the pitch. Fastball. Swing and a miss. Strikes out. Boshinsky. One down here in the top of the sixth. Don't draw your bat. It was your own fault. You swung at a bad Next game. up, number 35, Davis for the Aqua Sox. Beat in the windup. Here's the pitch. Oh, look like a changeup. Ball one. Mm -hmm. 
He's going to wind up the pitch. Curveball fouled off to the left. Strike one. Count one and one. One down here in the top of the six. Where the Aqua Sox lead the flying chunk was three to zero. Feet looks in from the sign, from the stretch. Gets it. Throws. Oh, high heat. Brushes them back a little bit. Davis blows him a kiss. I don't know what that's about. But maybe you loved it. Loves the chin music, apparently. He goes back into the windup. Here's the pitch. Oh, he throws a change up higher and inside. Goes back to the windup. Shakes off the first one, likes the second one. Here's the pitch from Veith. Again, change up, look like fouled off back to the left. <laughs> Bike gets a new ball. Shakes off the first one, the second one, third one. Might have went to the fourth one. Here's the pitch, though. And it's fastball inside, popped up to the shortstop, makes the catch. That's two down. <laughs> Next up, number 17, Greg Steed. Two down. Well, what would take your right? Outfit plays them straight up. Curveball. Strike one. Craig doesn't agree that he he held up, but he went around. Infield plays him to slap to the right. Outfield plays him straight up. Here's the pitch from Gabe. Ball low in the dirt. Big is new ball. Antonio gets down. Here's Gabe the sign. Here's the pitch to Greg Steve. Curveball strike <laughs> two. Oh, man, He's bailing out way too early, that's for sure. Dave looks in for the sign. Shakes off the first one, the second one, third one. Likes the fourth one, though. Here's the pitch. Fastball inside, chin music. No kiss from Steve, though. <laughs> 17 steps back in. Gabe in the windup. Shakes off one. Likes the second one, though. Here's the pitch. Curveball got him. Strike three. That's three down. Three up, three down for Gabe White. Going into the bottom of the sixth, the Aqua Sox still lead the flying chunkless three to zero.
All right, we're heading here into the bottom of the sixth. First up for the Flying Chonklas, McElroy, number eight. And he'll face A.J. Bashinsky. Bashinsky's throwing a gym here. Holding the Flying Chonklas to none so far. Infield to play him straight up. Outfield to play him a little to the right there. Here's the first pitch. Curveball inside, strike one. A.J. Bushinsky all the way to the right of the mile rubber there. Here's the pitch. Ball inside. Count one and one. She's going to sit. Here's the pitch. Fastball right down the middle. Strike two. One and two to McElroy. Not the same. So, hey, that was a good pitch. Bushinsky moves to the other side of the mound. Gets sign he likes. Here's the pitch. Oh, almost hit him. Count two and two. McElroy didn't even move. Two and two to count. Bushinsky going to wind up the pitch. Oh, curveball inside. Counts full three and two. Got to swing anything close here. Shinsky gets the sign, goes into the windup. Oh, steps off the mound. Going to ball, just so you know. Mm -hmm. All right, gets the sign. Goes in the windup. Here's the pitch. Swung on, strike three. One down here in the bottom of the six. Next up, number two, Paul Guy. One for two, as we get from Keith. Boshinski looking in for the sign. Gets the one he likes. Here's the pitch. Ooh, curveball outside. Ball one. I don't know if Boshinski's grimacing because that hurt or slipped out of his hand. So Bushinski stands behind the mound, takes a breather. Come set. It's the sign. Here's the pitch. There's a pop fly towards the first base sideline. Bushinski's over there and makes the grab. In foul territory. That's two down. Here in the bottom of the sixth. Where the Sox lead the flying chunk was three to zero. Next up, Gabe Vice, number 18 for the flying chunkless. We'll see what they do here. Shinsky comes set all the way to the right of the mound. Here's the windup, the pitch. Curveball hit down on the ground, gets past the third baseman. AJ grabs it, makes a throw, but offline. And so he's going to get second because it goes out of play. So they have a runner on second. Here comes the first courtesy, I believe. Or is there two outs? Two outs. Okay, so the speed up runner in. Paul Guy come in for Gabe Light. Next up for the Flying Chocolates, we've got number 15, Dylan Van Putten. And they're going to pitch to him. If it was me, I'd walk him. He could take one out of here in a hurry. So, push as he gets set. He's all the way on the right side of the rubber. Here's the pitch. Fastball right down in the middle. Strike one. Sinsky from the lineup. Come sit. Or right, from the stretch. Come sit. Here's the pitch. There's a shot in between second or short and third. Paul Guy's going to round third and try to score. And he's going to make it standing up. Flying chocolates are now on the board. They score one here in the bottom of the sixth. Two outs. Next up for the flying chunkless, 
It's going to be Antonio Rice. Three to one. And he'll do his signature into the dirt there. He's going to step up to the plate. Dylan Van putting on first takes his lead. AJ, AJ Wyshynski looks in for the side. Gets the one he wants. Come set. And he's going to throw over to first where Van Putt makes it back in time. Wyshynski hits the ball back. Steps on the rubber. Takes a look in for the sign. It's the sign he likes. Come set. Dylan Van Putt takes his lead. Here's the pitch to Rice. And he's going to pop it up straight up. The catcher has a chance. The umpire is kind of in the way a little bit there. So that ball hits the ground. All right. Boshinski stands behind the mound. The lady gets set behind the plate. Count is over one. Count is over one. Boshinski looks in for the sign. Van Punt takes the lead off first. Boshinski's going to throw over there. And he's back safely without attack. The score is 3-1 to one here in the bottom of the six. Two outs for the flying chunk. Let's run on first. And Antonio Wright's at the plate. Boshinski takes a look. Gets the sign. Van Punt takes his lead. Here's the pitch to Antonio Wright. Fouled off. Strike two. Oh, oh. He threw it back. Yeah. <laughs> All right, Van Bunt takes his lead off first, a small one. Boshinski's off the side of the mound there. He finally puts his foot on the rubber and all the way to the left-hand side. Van Bunt takes his lead. Boshinski's set. Here's the pitch to Rice. High and outside. And the Aqua Sox are leading three to nothing, or three to one here in the bottom of the six. Two outs. Antonio Rice at bat. And Dylan Van Putten on first. Takes his lead. Pushinski looks in for the sign. Gets the sign that he likes. Comes set. Here's the pitch to Rice. Ooh, inside. Was close. Count is now two and two. Van Putten takes his lead. Boshinski moves to the right side of the mound. Looking in for the sign. It's the sign. Come set. Here's the pitch. Curveball low and outside. Count is full. <clears throat> full count. Runner on first. So the runner on first is going to get a head start here. Two outs. He's going to get a head start. Boshinski looks in for the sign. Oh, Boshinski steps off. May have wanted a new sign there. Maybe he didn't realize what the count was. Count is three and two. Two outs. Dylan Van Putten on first. He's going to get a head start here. Boshinski comes set. And here's the pitch. There goes Van Putten. Foul ball off the Antonio Rice check swing. So Antonio Rice stays alive there. Dylan Van Punt takes a slow walk back to first. Finally gets the bag, so we'll do it again. And he's going to get a jump start. Boshinski looks in for the sign. Sign that he likes. Come set. Here's the pitch. There goes the runner. Ball four. Runners on first and second. Two outs. Coming up to the plate. Number 12, Tom Major.
And they're going to send a, a speed up for Antonio Rice at first. It's going to be Paul Guy, who scored the first uh, run for the Flying Chompers as a speed up runner for the pitcher Gabe Beef. Tom Major steps in. Flying Chunkless have runners on first and second. Wachinski gets signed, comes set. Here's the pitch. There's a dribbler down the third base line. It stays fair. Oh, called it foul. Hit the batter. So the runners will go back. Tom Major will go back to the box. When hit the batter, that probably would have been a tough play. So the runners go back. They'll take their leads here. Run on first, second, two outs. Bottom of the sixth. Tom Major up. Two. Oh. Try to do a little trickery there. Bashinsky's sign. Here's the pitch to Major. There's another piece of firewood. Hit to shortstop. He muffs it. And everybody will be safe. Base is loaded here in the bottom of the six with two outs. Next up, Tony Williams, number 14, who hit the ball 322 feet to the left field wall. Unfortunately, bounced off the fence. Let's see if he can get a hold of him. One here and hit it over this time. Well, Greg Steve is going to head out to mound, talk to Boshinsky. Might be a pitching change here. So Greg Steve comes out and talks to him. And says, I'm assuming he's like, this is going to be your last guy. If you can't get this guy, you're done. We're going to pull you. But we'll wait and see. Tony Williams is going to take his pro couple practice swings. Love it. Good for him. And then we're going to get the Simon across. Love it, too. And he steps in. Boshinsky from the stretch. Or from the windup. Gets his sign. Here's the pitch. Ball inside. Oh, love lady camp. Oh, he finds the ball finally. No runners advance. Ball one. Base loaded, two outs, bottom of the six. Base, our score is three to one. And Aqua Sox over the Flying Chonkas. They're trying to do more damage here in the bottom of the six. Again, Tony Williams hit one off the fence earlier. Hopefully, he can get a hold of one here and score in some runs. Wyshynski gets the sign from the windup, the pitch. Ooh, ball inside. Count is two and oh. So Bashinsky's gonna take a break, walk around a little bit, take a breather. Get signed from the catcher. And the windup with the high leg kick. Here's the pitch. Ball. Ooh. Strike caught on the outside. Count is two and one, and Boshinsky's out of here. His arms hurt. He needs to, they need to, they're gonna pull. I think he, he pulled something. Looks like he can't feel in his arm. Hopefully he's okay. So we're going to warm up a pitcher here, it looks like. Looks like Rob Seppi's going to go to first. And Chris Powell will come in to finish up the inning. We'll be right back as soon as he gets his own with his warm-up pitches. But again, here in the bottom of the six, the Aqua Sox lead the Flying Chunkless three to one with two outs here with bases loaded. Going to Tony Williams.
So Chris Chris Powell does move to the mound. And Tony Williams will step back in with bases loaded. Two outs here in the bottom of the six with a two ball, one strike count. Powell looks in for the sign. Gets sign. Here's the pitch. Ball inside. The ball gets away. No runner. So the count is now three and one. Bases loaded. Runners stay where they're at. Three and one. Runners take their leads. Here comes the pitch to Tony Williams. Ball four. So that'll bring in a run here in the bottom of the six. Now the, the flying chonklas are only down by one with Sean Rowe coming up to the plate. In bases loaded here. Here's the pitch. Ball high outside. Base loaded. Two outs, bottom of the six. Powers in the windup. Here's the pitch. And there's a little knuckler hit off the end of the bat. And they throw him out at first. So that will end the sixth. The Chonklas leave three on. But score two in this inning. So they trail the Aqua Sox by one. So the score is three to two. And we're heading into the top of the seventh. So Gabe Beef will pick the top of the seventh here. And it looks like we have Love Lady, Pro Shack, and Ward coming up. Not maybe not in that order, but that's yeah. the next three. Love Lady, Pro Shack, and Ward. Yeah. So Love Lady steps in. Gabe gets the sign from his catcher. Here's the pitch. Curveball low, ball one. Count is one and oh. KB looks in for the sign from Rice. Gets it in the stretch. Here's the pitch. There's a pop fly. I don't know if it's going to make it out of play. And foul off to the left-hand side. Count is one to one. That one almost brought rain. That was up there. Level lady steps back in. Here's the windup and the pitch. <laughs> Ball low and outside. They're blue too. Huh? They're blue too. <laughs> you know how to get rid of them? You shave one Two and side, one. the other side on fire. They beat come out in the windup. Here's the pitch. With an ice pick. <laughs> oh, almost hits Love Lady. <laughs> three one. Count is three and one. Love Lady moved out of the way.
Beat the go back into the windup. Wait for the slide from Rice. Shakes off the first one. Likes the second one. Here's the pitch. Ball outside. Take your base. Yeah, I had four ones. Yeah. <laughs> Now stepping up to the plate for the Aqua Sox. Number 13, Dave Prochak. Love ladies on first. You got two sticks in the head catch, coaching first base. So Love Lady will take his lead. Dave gets the sign from the catcher. Come set. Here's the pitch. There's a ground ball hit down to the third baseline. And they're going to make the throw to first. And the better's out at first base. So the little lady advances the second there on the ground ball to third base. And Prochak gets thrown out at first. One down here in top of the seventh. Next up, number 11, Brian Ward for the Aqua Sox. So the little lady's on second. Takes his lead. Gabe goes into the stretch. Wait for the sign from Antonio Rice. It's a sign that he likes. Come set. Here's the pitch. Strike one. Curveball. Gabe looks in for the sign. This one he likes. Brian Ward waits. Here's the pitch. Another curveball hit back up the middle. And that's going to get down. Love Lady's going to wind up at third. So we have runners at the corners, first and third. One down. With number one, nope, number 10, Rob Seppin coming up. Maybe one of these nights we can get together and we can get a Rob Seppin ponytail night. Rob <laughs> Where, where, where everybody gets a free clip on ponytail. <laughs> Love Rob Seppi. He's a good guy. So we got runners on the corner first and third. One down. Number 10, Rob Seppi. Looks like Greg Steve gives Rob the signs. Looks like a probably going to bunt here. So Brian Ward at first, Love Lady at third. And there's the runner. Squares the butt. Ball one low in the dirt. So Brian Ward makes it to second. We got second, third, one out. And Rob Seppi up to the plate. The Aqua Sox are looking to get some breathing room here in the top of the seventh with one down. He gets the sign, come set. Here's the pitch. Curveball, strike one. Man, he's breaking that thing off today. He looks in for the sign from Rice. Shakes off the first one. Likes the second one. Rob Seppi kicks the back foot. Here's the pitch. Oh, almost hit him. Ball on the inside. Throw one is on second, third, top of the seventh here. One down. Beat gets the sign he likes. Come set. Here's the pitch. Curveball. Shot to right field. The right fielder makes an attempt to dive and catch it, but misses it. That's going to score. Love Lady, here comes Brian Ward, and he's going to be safe too. So they score two here in the top of the seventh. So they now lead the Flying Chunkos 5-2. to two. With the runner on first and one out. Next up, number one, Dale Spring. Oh, Seppi gets his lead off first. Takes a big lead. Ooh. He 
There's pitch. Oh, that's thrown away. Bounces off the back wall. Yeah, Rob Seppi's going to make it second standing. Just a little time. <laughs> All right. We're going to look in for the sign. Mike's the first sign. Come set. Here's the pitch. Curveball ball inside. Count 2-0. Oh. Here's the pitch. Three balls, no strikes. On Dale Spring. Gabe looks in for the sign. Come set. Seppi takes his lead. Here's the pitch. Fastball right out of the middle. Strike one. Three and one. Beat looks in, gets the sign real quick this time. Here's the pitch. Oh, he throws another fastball, hit up the middle. Shortstop fumbles it, still makes a throw. Gets the batter out at first. Dale Spring is thrown out. Runner stays at second, so we got two outs here in the top of the seventh. Where the flying chocolates are losing to the Aquasoft five to two. Heath wants a new ball. He calls time, throws in the ball to Antonio Rice. Rice gets the new ball, throws it back out to Gabe. Runner on second, two outs. Gabe looks in for the sign. Gets the sign. Checks on Seppi a second. Here's the pitch. There's a fastball hit to left field. Uh, Tony Williams makes under and makes the catch. There's three outs. So we'll head into the bottom of the seventh with the Flying Chocolates losing by three. The score is five to two. All right, here we go with the bottom of the seventh. Last chance for the Flying Chocolates. On the mound, we got Chris Powell. Up first, we got Steve Stewart for the Flying Chocolates. So Chris Powell looks in for the slam. Here's the pitch. Fastball right down the middle, strike one. Batter gets ready. Chris Powell gets the sign. Here's the pitch. There's a fly ball to right field. The right fielder is underneath, and he makes the grab. One out. Next up for the Flying Chocolates is Jarrett Rowe. Number three. So they need at least two batters to get on base to roll over the lineup. Here's the pitch to Jarrett. 
strike one right down the middle. You just watch that one go by. Here we go with the second pitch. Ball high, one and one. Kyle's getting the sign, just chucking it right away. He's not waiting. Here's the pitch. Oh, change up. Got him. One and two. What I mean by change up, I think that was his fastball. I'm not sure. I didn't hear him grunt that time. Here's the pitch. There's a ground ball. Hit the two sticks, two sticks in the head. Two sticks in the head. And he throws them out. AJ McMahon throws them out. Two down. Hopefully he watches this cast. Two sticks. <laughs> Last hope for the flying chocolates is Brown. Number 10. And he's a lefty in the face, left-handed throwing Chris Powell. Chris Powell looks in for the sign, gets it. Here's the pitch. Ball outside. You gotta have this batter. You got to get this batter. Get set. Here's the pitch. Strike one. Twinkle Toes is up there. He's spinning around like a ballerina. But he's putting a charge into that swing, that's for sure. Count is one and one. Two outs here in the bottom of the seventh. For the flying chocolates. Browns up, waving the bat. Here's the pitch. Swing and a miss. Strike two. Oh, wind up pitch. Oh, throws that one way high. Two and two. Here's the pitch. Strike three. Batters out. That's ball game. Aqua Sox win five to two over the Flying Chocolates. Stay tuned for our Sunday night game, which is going to be the Blue Crabs versus the Pirates. 